I have Emmanuel, Jada, Vanessa, Colleen, and Nitati. I love them all. I'm the head nurse at Ghana Infectious Disease Center. When COVID came to Ghana, my auntie called and was like, no, 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 no. We love you, you are precious to us. You can't risk your life. And I told her, I've already started. So I can't look back. When I saw those things, it looked like this disease is going to be very dangerous, very destructive. My biggest fear was she getting the virus because if she gets the disease, like it's over for us. What he's seen on the TV, health workers were dying. He doesn't want to lose the mom. I knew I've put my life at risk. We had a training exercise on COVID-19 when the ambulance came. We didn't know whether it was a, a simulation or it was a real COVID patient. When we were told it was a COVID patient, everybody was running away. I was very nervous. You don't know who is in the ambulance. So if we all leave and it's a relative, it's a friend, how would you feel? That day I came home, I couldn't sleep. Normally when I come back from work, my kids just come out, welcome, Mama Lou, what did you bring? But this time round, I have to stop them. I don't know what I have carried home. On her way coming back from work, she calls me and tells me she's almost home. So I should put her washing products outside for her. When I get to the house and I honk, they only open the gate and go back because I have told them nobody should come to me. I just walk barefooted to the back house, wash from my shoulder down, my legs down with soap and water. I don't want to risk their lives. When she came back from work, she looked tired, but she had no other choice. She had to do it. <sighs> keep going. The following day you wake up and you get a renewed strength. Following your dreams and your passion, you have to go. Before the vaccines came in, we lost a lot of our patients, a lot of people, a lot of friends, and a lot of pregnant women it's very heartbreaking to see mother and baby dying. I could recall one patient, the husband came round to see her, gave her words of assurance that she will be fine. We gave him a prescription to buy some medications for the wife. When he returned, the wife has passed on. It's so traumatizing. I was at home when I heard the news on TV. They said they have gotten us vaccines against COVID. I was so happy. When I saw the delivery of the covers, I said, wow, it has really landed. We are going to take it. We are going to reduce COVID, which is going to reduce our stress. And lo and behold, they started with health workers. Frontline workers were prioritized because we were with the patients I made sure that first day, I will be the first person to have my vaccine and I encourage my nurses also to join suit, which they did. The day I was vaccinated, I was like, it is well. If we have another pandemic, all the facilities have trained nurses, all the facilities have isolation units, they have the cold chain system, and we have this rapid response team, should we have another pandemic, we are ready, more than ready. We've really gone far. And when we look back, I could see 
we've really done a great job. We have done it. I'm ready for anything.